hi there this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of taurus hi taurus this is going to be for the second half of may and this is for sun moon rising venus signs as well as a cross watcher of the taurus first card outs the hermit some of you could be dealing with a virgo some of you have been i mean collectively worldwide we've been secluded and you know in hermit mode but this is really about somebody who has kind of retreated to go within. Feels very spiritual awakening-ish. Um, I mean, like I said, collectively, we've kind of been going through some shit, right? But, wow, the Wheel of Fortune, the Angel of Destiny. So you have the Hermit, which is the Angel of Reflection. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Angel of Destiny. Took the jackpot. And the wheel turns, huh? Yeah? Three of swords, heartache, and the two of pentacles juggling. And nine of pentacles comfort. Somebody here became single. Traditionally, the nine of pentacles in the tarot deck would be someone that's kind of independent and single, building themselves back up. So somebody here has definitely gone through something like this. Whether this is romantic or non-romantic freeing themselves going within when I go within and I heal and I release and I purge and I let go the wheel turns could have been a karmic lesson for some of you feels like something here definitely ended whether it was a karmic relationship or whether this was a karmic lesson that was finally learned something ended three of pentacles action Seven of Pentacles, Vision, Six of Swords, Resolution. Moving forward. Coming out of the shell is basically what it is. It's like, it's time to get out. It's time to fly. Like if you were a butterfly, you can't stay in the, can't stay in the cocoon forever. Four of Pentacles, Control. You guys are the bulls of the zodiac stubborn comes to mind i know it ain't the first time you've heard it right that's the bulls it's stubborn something with the control thing here so needing to let go of control ace of swords freedom it's definitely freeing yourself from something you were the other person ace of swords can be about truth it can be also about peace and clarity right with the sword aces are always blessings and gifts so somebody here could have been gifted freedom it's, it feels like somebody here has gotten single if they were in a relationship and if they weren't in a relationship it feels like they were gifted this sense of freedom in a good way not oh i'm single and lonely but i'm like single and free and i feel great and I'm, i feel amazing and that's how i manifest with the magician that's how come the wheel turned all dead. See, told you something ended. Ten of Wands. Something ended. The long journey is over. Because the lesson is learned. It's like the longer you would have Two of Pentacles twice. Two different decks. This deck's juggling. Look at them. Weighing things out. Somebody here weighed something out for a really long time. And then it feels like they finally took action on it. Should I go? Should I stay? Should I quit? Should I not? Should I apply for this new job? Should I not? Holy shit. Wheel of the year, bottom of the deck. It's the wheel of fortune. For frick's sake, it's like, wow, the wheel turns in your favor is what it feels like. But why does the wheel turn in your favor, though? Because you've done your part, right? So come the wheel turns in your favor. Holy shit, the star. Aquarius energy, but the star is a wish manifested. It's also the card of hope, belief. It's healing. It's the card of destined and faded, like what's written in the stars. <sighs> Feels like somebody who was lost is finding their way home, finding their way back home. It is definitely a collective energy of the whole following the North Star home here, yes, but 
it really feels this way for you guys. Feels like somebody's was who was lost is coming home. You have the nine of wands. Some of you have been blocking this energy from coming in. This man holding the coin that we keep getting or the king of pentacles. Someone who wants to offer something solid to you. And in the past, it's been because maybe some of you were in a relationship. Or he was, and so it was being blocked. Whether it's because it's you blocking it or circumstances blocking it, right? Whatever the case is, let's say now we have learned to let our guards down. Because now we've learned discernment and we've gone through the healing. We're no longer the wounded warrior. Now he can come in. Or if he's freed himself, now he can come in. Right? The Ace of Swords, the freedom thing may be on his end. Someone is now free and able to offer. And it feels like... I mean, it's just like... It's something that's like going to change everything. So it would be like a life-changing offer of like a job. You know, it would be like something that changes your whole life. Something that you've been waiting for your whole life. Or if it's a, a, a relationship, it would be a very long-term one. If not somebody who you would marry. Wow. Four of Cups, this could have been a person in the past that you've been entertaining or whatever and nothing occurred from it. Nothing happened. As a Four of Cups. And also, this is very symbolic for those in karmic relationships or karmic situations. This is how they feel. It's unsatisfactory. And then, so, of course, cutting yourself free from this type of an energy creates, you know, this change. Something here happens really quick, too, with the Knight of Wands. Or this could have been in the past. You guys have only had something that was maybe a fling. Maybe it was something that came in quickly and it ended very quickly, right? That's the Knight of Wands. It could also be a younger fire sign. Take it as it resonates. Holy shit, the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. You have two wish cards with the star and the Nine of Cups. And then you have this magician sitting here, all of the power to create and make all of this shit happen here. That's absolutely phenomenal. Nine of Cups, blessings, wishes, coffin, something comes to an end. It landed on the Ten of Wands. It's for sure sealing the deal, something ends. Something's over, something ends. Oh my God, Becky, look at that card. Holy shit, great fortune, I'm done. Told you guys, the wheel turns, it turns in your freaking favor. Wishes coming true here. I mean, look at the bottom of the decks, the freaking Ten of Pentacles. Financial abundance, long-term committed relationship. Cha-ching. Okay? Whether it's this dude that brings it in, this King of Pentacles man holding a coin, if you would like to call him that, or it's you manifesting all of these wonderful things. When the wheel turns, be prepared. Because I have a feeling when the wheel turns, for some of you that's done the work, it's going to bring in this, like feels like a very old wish it maybe it's from past life to the bear someone here is very aggressive and possessive it's gonna come in hard i think it was airy who was it that i did coming in hot i can't remember who i just did their title of theirs was coming in hot that's the, the sickle something is for sure being cut off and it's over it's done it's a done deal the fish wealth this is two cards indicating wealth you have another card indicating wealth, okay? Because with, the, with great fortune, obviously, it would mean, like, freaking pentacles, right? You have the ten of pentacles, bottom of the freaking deck over here, indicating financial stabi stability or wealth. You have the sun, which could be fame and success. Some of you could be in the limelight. Maybe that's what the life-changing offer is, is you guys step into the limelight. The fish can also be good luck, too, if these are koi fishes, right? water water sign if these are emotions someone really hits it big and it's very lucky if it has that feeling to it of luck but mm, as we say right is it luck or is it alignment with the great fortune card here too it's like it's just destined for it once this wheel turns it's just destined you're destined for it 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 will just it's like a floodgate it just all comes in all at one time you know, that's sometimes how it ends up being is that sometimes it does just come in that way when it rains, it pours, because when we are asking for abundance, right, we are asking for a lot of things because abundance means a lot of something. 
So don't be surprised if you get a lot of different offers, if you have a lot of different options. That's always a good thing, right? All right, I also wanna thank you guys for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. And follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi, because I tend to go live there a lot, almost every day actually. Now they've been saving our you know, lives under Instagram TV, which is great because I guess it saves it you know, forever. But the bad thing is, is that it doesn't show any of the comments that occurred during the live, which I get a lot of, so it's kind of a bummer. It's a give and a take. Now you have your no, no. And then you have it's up to you. Oh, <gasps> perfect timing. Something happens right at that exact moment it's supposed to. It's a bit of, I heard, just heard, it's a, it's, it's a bit of luck. But it's not freaking luck. Look at that, you have abundance. Oh Lord, I was just talking about abundance, wasn't I? You have helpful people, so there could be a lot of helpful people coming into your life. Also your spiritual team, okay? It's not just physical, muggles. You have looked for a sign have a feeling a lot of you are seeing a lot of signs. Maybe you're seeing names, right? These confirmations of the job that it's been calling to you. Some of you are seeing a lot of angel numbers, right? Such as 444, 555, 888, especially if, you're, if abundance is coming in for you. You have recovery. Healing here is almost over or completed with this recovery card is what that would be. Looks like you've got quite a bit of abundance coming in your future, Taurus and Taurus Cross Watchers. All right, if you want to book a reading with me, please check the description box below. And then when you know what you want, please shoot me an email. And in the title of the email, put it exactly what it is that you want so I know what to invoice you, okay? I'll see you guys later. Bye.